Oh, Sophie, now how could I possibly pay attention to a book that has no pictures in it? In my world, everything will have pictures, and it'll all be nonsense. In my world. find my way. Oh, oh, oh darling. darling. Well, well, you see, you have no way. Always oh, here, you see, is the Queen's way. way. Well, well, I suppose I you could ask the Mad Hatter, Hatter. Or, or the March Hare, Hare. but of but course, of course he's, he's mad, mad too. too. But I don't want to go among mad people. Oh, oh darling, darling, you can't you help that, that here. here. Most everyone's Everyone mad here. here. If you haven't noticed, I'm not all there myself. Hey everyone, so starting out I'm going to be using a white eyeliner pencil and just kind of giving myself an idea of what look I'm going to be doing, just kind of mapping out my nose and how big I want my mouth to be. Next, to make our nose a little bit more cat-like, I'm going to be kind of extending my eyebrows, if that makes any sense, and drawing two lines down the bridge of my nose and then filling in those two lines with a pink paint. I'm giving myself kind of a wing on my eyes just to give myself a shape that I can work with later on. And then filling in my whole forehead with the pink and blending that back into my hairline so it looks more like my actual face and not like a mask. I'm going to be putting the pink down around my eyes and once I go around my eyes, I'm kind of blending it and fading it towards the center of my face because I'm going to be adding white to the center of my face later on. Now for the brows, I want to have some fun with this and add some cool textures. So I'm taking this old fuzzy pink pillow that I have and cutting off this random handle thing that's on it. And I'm going to be applying that onto my eyebrows. I'm kind of measuring out the length and the shape of my brow. And then I cut the fabric and I glued that onto my eyebrow using some eyelash glue. Lots of eyelash glue. <laughs> and then took some little cosmetic scissors and trimmed up my brows. Because, you know, Cheshire Cat's got to have them brows on fleek. Next, to prime my eyes, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk and putting that all over and underneath my eye. And then my camera decided to die, so I didn't get all of this part, but I just basically applied white paint on the sides of my nose up underneath my eyebrow and blended that up towards the pink. Next, I'm applying a creamy metallic silver type color and applying that all over my mobile lid as a base. I'm going to be doing a cut crease, so make sure that you round it off and have a really harsh line. While looking into a very dirty mirror, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Next, I am taking the NYX Face and Body Glitter in the color Crystal on a flat brush and applying that over top of the silver. I'm taking a light purple color on a flat brush and applying that into my crease and just kind of blending that up towards my eyebrows. I went back in with a more vibrant purple just to kind of intensify the color a little bit. And I brought it downward towards my tear duct and then I buffed that all out with the highlight color underneath my brow bone. You want to make sure that you have no harsh lines and that all the colors are really blown out and blended. Next, I'm taking a dark purple on an angled brush and doing a cut crease all the way from my outer V down into my tear duct. I'm going to be winging out the end of it and then just blending it all together with the purple color that I had before. I decided to add a light purple color onto my brush just to make sure to blend my cut crease color with the white. I went back in with a deep purple just to kind of intensify my crease before going in with a yellow paint and making a really extreme yellow cat eye. I'm making it a little messy because we're going to go back in later and fix it up. And I'm just going to bring the yellow onto my lash line and then down onto my lower lash line to kind of replicate his glowing eyes. And then I'm taking the same pink that we used on our forehead and cleaning up my wing just to make sure it's super sharp. And then I'm going to be blending that down into the white. Next, I'm adding a light layer of mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And then I am going to be applying just a little bit of black shadow onto my upper and lower lashes just to give my eyes a little bit more definition. And then I'm going back in with the yellow just to clean it up a little bit. I went ahead and applied some false lashes off camera and then sealed those in with a layer of mascara. 
Okay, so this is kind of weird, but I thought it'd be fun to add these little stars that I got from the craft store onto my lower lashes. I, I just, I don't know, I thought it was different and added something a little bit more fun, so I just glued those on there with some lash glue. And then I found this old sparkly bedazzled lanyard in my closet, and I took off the little yellow gems, and I glued those onto the inner corner of my eyes. I thought my brows were looking a little sparse, so I went in with some purple cream and I just filled in some little purple streaks. Strikes? Streaks? What? <laughs> and then I took some pink paint and then I just kind of made the outline of my mouth. And then took some black paint and just kind of figured out how I wanted my actual teeth to be. It was looking a little bit too small for my liking, so I just wiped off what I did before and just drew a bigger one over it. Now one of the most iconic things about the Cheshire Cat is his creepy smile. So I decided to kind of channel Tim Burton's version of the Cheshire Cat for this one and I made his teeth really pointy. I figured out while doing this that it's actually so much easier to do the teeth first and then go back in and fill it in with the black paint. Because when you have the black paint you can just kind of shape up the teeth a little bit better besides trying to put white over top of black and then just making a big mess. Or maybe I'm just messy, <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> Next, I am just outlining my teeth and beginning to fill in all the blank areas with some black paint. And then I chose to kind of add some little dents and make his teeth a little bit more crooked just because he's not perfect. I felt like it added a little bit more character. I went back in and made the two front teeth a little bit longer and then just refilled in the black around those areas. So since I kind of wanted to mix both versions of the Cheshire Cat together, I took inspiration from the 1951 version and drew his tongue sticking out of his mouth. It's hard to explain. It's honestly the easiest thing if you look at a reference photo and just go with it. Here I'm just kind of figuring out the shape, seeing how round I want it to be, how big I want it to be, and then drawing in the little line like, in the middle of his tongue to make it more interesting, outlining it in black, and then just filling in black around the teeth. Next, I'm just taking a light pink color and filling in the area around his mouth very carefully with a flat brush. I went in with some black paint just to make my mouth lines a little bit cleaner and then I worked on the shadow underneath the tongue. Next, I'm going to be filling in all of my blank spaces with a dark pink color and then going in with some black paint and outlining my entire mouth area to make it stand out more. Next, I'm using just a tiny bit of black paint to create a bunch of wrinkles and smile lines. Now, this part was also inspired by the Tim Burton version of the Cheshire Cat. I'm doing some pretty small strokes with a paintbrush to make it look like fur all on my forehead. I want to have the biggest one in the middle and then smaller ones on the sides. First, I'm going in with white paint, and then I'm going to go on top of that with some purple paint, and then go on top of that with yellow paint. For the nose, it was really easy. I decided just to keep it simple and go with purple. So I'm filling that all in and then I'm cleaning that up a little bit and adding a little bit of a highlight to the tip of my nose. And then playing off of the Treasure Cat stripes, I decided to add some purple, pink, and yellow stripes going down my neck. To finish off the look, I decided to create some ruffles at the bottom of the stripes, sort of like a clown costume. I just looked at a reference photo and started creating random little swirls and ruffles and then shading that in to make some shadows and then I took a small brush and and painted black lines in between all of my different colored stripes. I decided to go back in and kind of darken up some ruffles just to make it a little bit more dramatic and add a little bit more of the shading and then I realized I forgot to add some white onto my waterline so I did that really quick. I added some yellow whiskers and that's all. Now I just need to flip my ears around for the finishing touch and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and a comment down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!